Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. In this video, I will explain to you how to haul a load using climbing equipment. Let's get into it. So with the system rigged up, you can exactly see why this system, the Z-Rig or the, the basic 321, is a good system to use. I will not need the full, well, this is about six meters. So with a normal 321, I would be needing at least 18 meters of rope. Right now I have an eight meter rope with all the knots in between. I still have some space left to get my hole going. How to rig this up if I want to lift my casualty? I will start at the descender and I have my descender. It's upside down because the load is coming down. So my anchor point will be actually down there. Normally when we have it on the harness, it's like this. And the anchor point is at the top, but the anchor point is down there and we're pulling that up towards us. So I made an extra carabiner in between. And the only reason for that is that the opening side of the descender is pointing towards the camera. That's the only reason. You might choose to do this to get more room for extra equipment later on in more complicated systems. But if I'm thinking about more complicated systems, I'm also thinking about the gain you get when you lift your load. And this will actually limit your gain or the height you can lift by this much. And when I do it like this, it doesn't seem a lot, but when I have a 100 kilo load or maybe a two person, like a 200 kilo load, it's, and I need to get it over a little edge or out of this hole, then with bridles and all the stuff attached to it, this much might actually be the difference between manageable and not manageable. But for this example, it will be better to have the descender pointing towards you guys. The backup device, the ASAP, which you normally attach to your harness with this carabiner, it's attached directly into the anchor point and just hanging freely. I will put the rope into the backup device first. I open the ASAP, I take one of the ropes and I put it in with the arrow pointing down. Same as with the ID, the ID is upside down because my load or my casualty will be my anchor point. Those, that's where the, the loops of the knots are. There is um, a drawing of uh, a bite or a loop on the ID. That's the strand that needs to go down. There's an arrow pointing up or to the anchor point or to the load and we're lifting so it's to the load. Very important to get that right. So I thread the rope in, lock it. And I do a function check. That's basically it. If I would do it the wrong, wrong way around, and like so, and I would do a function check and I would pull real hard, it should lock and it does not. So I take out the rope, flip it upside down, pull through a little bit of slack and do a function check, it locks and that's what we Want. Because I'm going to be hauling the rope and I need to be pulling in the slack because it's coming up, you need to get an extra redirect carabiner up here. So when I'm taking in the load, I can actually do my pulley system work and lifting the casualty or the load, I can actually just pull in real easy. I do a few steps, pull in the slacks. Do a few steps, pull in the slack. That's easy. Now, next one will be in the Petzl ID. Let me see like this. So I open up the ID and this pointing down will be my anchor point. So when I look in the Petzl ID, there's a little bit of a loop there, right here. And that should be going, the strand that goes in there should be pointing down towards the load or the casualty. If I do it like this, and I give a little bit of slack and I do a function check. Then it locks and that's what we want. So I lock the descender and now I'll manage the rest, the, the rear, rear end of the rope. I had it tied back because then it would not fall back to the ground, but now I'm gonna make it properly for lifting. If I'm going to rig it up, first I take the 
what we call the redirect pulley. It doesn't add anything except ease of use. And if I do it like this, that will easily show me where to put the rope clamp. I take my other piece of kit, rope clamp, carabiner and another pulley. This could be any rope clamp, this could be a, a rescue sender, it could be a Jumar, but I'm using a crawl. Anything works. I attach the pulley in the loop that was hanging down. And this shows me exactly how it should end up. With the rope clamp, it's the same as with these two devices. Everything is upside down, so the arrow that sets up needs to point down. And I can do a function check. If I pull up, it's not sliding up. And if I would do it the other way around, and I would pull up, it slides up. So just let it hang. I take care that all the nothing is like twisted or anything. Everything is running freely. I clip it on, give it some tension. I check my system. One, two, three. All closed carabiners. Everything is ready to go. Now the first few steps I'm gonna do manually, and when it gets off the when the load gets off the ground or the casualty gets off the ground, I will add my foot loop. All right, so I open the descender, pull in the slack, give it the first lift, lock the ID, check my system once more because now I have some tension in it, pull through the slack. And now you can see, the is still on the ground, but there's some tension. If I would be pulling in and I got some slack in the system, it's very easy with that redirect carabiner to pull the slack through. No hard work at all. I open up the descender again, give it one more big pull. Maybe another one. Uh, I can manage this. I always hold the rope. I pull through some slack, lower my rope clamp and my pulley, open the descender, give it a good pull, give it a good pull. Give it a good pull, lock it. If you like this content, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to never miss a new upload. And leave a comment on what you think of this technique. There are multiple different ways of doing it. This is just one way. What you saw is that it was getting, I can manage it like this, it's hard work. I'm using my arms, so I'm gonna add my foot loop. Get my tumor. I have my foot loop doubled up. I step in it, open the descender, stand up, pull it down, stand up, pull it down. I make three steps. Just keep tension here so I don't have to lock this. I got everything under control. Pull through the slack. One, two, three. Pull it through. One, two, three, pull it through. One, two, three, pull it through. So it's hard work. We'll get there. It just takes some time. One, two, three. To be completely honest, this is not the way you really would like to lift something. I would, this can be a rig to rescue, but this could, took me a couple of minutes and it's only like six, should be about six meters. It's a lot of work and we'll get it done. So in real life, we would probably be using like a, a powered winch for this stuff, because then it's a, a swift rescue. But in case of an emergency of when things are not possible to rig any other way, this is one way to lift up a casualty or you could use it to lift up a load and maneuver it into place and install it. 
If you have a team, we could redirect this with a pulley somewhere down there and start like walking back and forth. And then the race would be really swift. And if you plan it with long enough ropes, then you can lower this down straight away. But I'll show that technique in a different video. This video was sponsored by Industrieel Klimme. And Industrieel Klimme is a beautiful training center in the Netherlands, situated right above Amsterdam, right north of, north of it. They provide all kinds of training. You can come here for your IRATA training, of course, your G GWO training. You could do your tower climbing, rope rescue training, confined space, first aid, all the good stuff. If you are interested in buying some of this gear, follow the link in the description and you'll end up at the beautiful web store and you can check it out. If you're able to make it in person, there's also a beautiful physical store next door where you can, can come in and check out all the equipment and have, get it in your hands. Like I said, link in the description. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Stay connected.